Hi, this is Solution57, and today we're going to show you the remote application framework adapted for IVI systems. What I have are two devices. This one will be hosting all the apps, and this one is just acting as a remote display, so it's just a viewer. As you can see, there's nothing installed here except for our remote viewer. Let's launch the viewer. Here we can launch a secondary launcher. So we have the main Android launcher here on the Nexus, and this is a secondary launcher also running on this device. So, in our car, let's listen to some music. Here's Spotify. Let it just hop online. No one in the connection available. There it is. Okay. So, here's our radio. We can even turn up the music here. So, what else can we do? Well, we can launch navigation. So here's Google Maps running all on this Nexus device. We can also launch a browser. And of course the difference here from something like Mirrorlink is that here we actually have total separation of the UI on this device and the UI here. This is running at the exact layout, the form factor that is here. Here, at the same time, while using the system, someone else can be playing the game on this device. So here, on the IVI, well, we can be checking our radar, for example. Traffic. Here, somebody's playing Candy Crush Saga, all on one device. So we have one system, two separate displays, applications running on both, separate input. And what this allows you is that on the IVI system here, you don't need to have an Android running. This could be QNX or another embedded system. All it needs is our player to run. So this means you don't have to update this constantly. You can be changing your Android devices here while this remains static. And even, what I can do is, well, let me just kill Candy Crush Saga here. Here we can probably go in, well actually Spotify, just pause it. So, if you're stuck in a traffic jam, what you can do, you can actually take the games installed on this, and launch them here. So the same Candy Crush we've just been running here, is now showing on this device. As you can see, latency isn't that bad. And for the viewer, we have multiple backends. So this is running a video streaming backend. We also have a VNC backend. And we can also support a remote desktop backend, for example, like Mirrorlink has. So we could even be using this on Mirrorlink systems, just with a new server on this end. So. This is Solution 57, showing you the remote applications framework on IVI systems. Thanks for watching.